Welcome to Behind the Bar by Grey Goose. Today we're talking the tools of the trade, the essential must-haves for creating your cocktails. From muddlers to shakers, we'll show you the pieces you need and how to use them. So let's dive right in, Leon. So we're gonna start with our jiggers. We have two different options. We have a handle jigger and a non-handle jigger. I think me and Selena kind of gravitate towards the non-handle just because you have a little bit more control um, versus with the handle, as you can see it, to me, you just don't have as much control going into your mixing glass or tin. Next, we have our muddler, perfect for your mojito style cocktails where you need to break up that citrus um, and release those essential oils from the skin. Again, you're gonna have the combed into the glass and you're just gonna, you know, three of these and you're done. Next, we have our handle jigger. You're gonna have markings in. It's gonna be on the larger side of this Japanese jigger, two ounces on the top, three quarters on the smaller end. Next, we have our two shakers. This is a cobble shaker. It's three pieces, breaks off like so. Next, we have our Boston shaker. Ice liquid, it seals, you shake. Next, you have your citrus peeler, perfect for making your garnishes. All right, and I'm gonna talk about different types of strainers, starting with the Hawthorne strainer. I like this one because it has the coil and the arms to hold on to the lip, like so. And then we also have a fine mesh strainer for catching ice chips and citrus pieces in cocktails. So this is a great secondary strainer to have. And then if you like stirred drinks, the julep strainer is great for catching those larger ice cubes from the mixing glass for a stirred cocktail. And then we have a mixing spoon, which is wonderful for any sort of stirred cocktail, like a martini cocktail, but also for highball glasses where you wanna integrate maybe two part ingredients. It's a little bit more low profile and longer than a traditional spoon. So it's awesome for having at home cocktails. And then we have a hand juicer. So if you like fresh citrus in your cocktails, this is gonna be a must have for your home bar. And uh, we've all seen this before, but a bottle opener is great. If you like Moscow mules or yes. Grey Goose and sodas, this is gonna be an essential uh, tool for you to have at your house as well. And then I think really the last thing we wanted to bring up is just ice trays, because yes. people ask a lot about ice. Um, and so what we would recommend, and. I think it's pretty easy to store this if you have limited freezer space. It's going to be a one inch by one inch ice cube tray because it's great for drinks on the rocks. So Grey Goose on the rocks say, it's great for any shaken drinks in tins mm -hmm. and it's also great for any stirred drinks like a martini cocktail. So kind of covers all the bases with one size ice cube. So Selena, question, if you could have one bar tool, what would that be? That's a tough one. I don't think I can answer that. So how about you? Let us know in the comments and keep clicking below for great drink recipes.